This is the Magellan Strait that separates the South American continent from Tierra del Fuego. It's often referred to as the end of the world, but also as the gateway to Antarctica, less than a thousand kilometers south of here. We're on an expedition with Chile's science minister to inspect one of 180 climate change stations. On the way, we find the remains of a beached whale. This is just a fraction of what is covered by the Southern Hemisphere's longest climate change observatory, just launched by Chile. So we have sensors all the way from the Antarctic Peninsula all the way to the Atacama Desert. And we'll use a single platform to provide access to uh, the data. Uh, in in, in an open access format. Until now, data from the southern cone has been scarce. Climate scientists say the new observatory will provide badly needed data to track changes in temperatures, radiation, precipitation, the direction and strength of winds, and sea levels in real time. That includes Antarctica, which is a key modulator of the Earth's climate. When I'm sitting in my laboratory and my office in the winter in Australia, I can still be seeing what's happening in Antarctica because there are all sorts of climate effects that happen when we're not there. Dr. Marcelo Lepe is an expert in dinosaurs, fossils and climate change in Antarctica and Patagonia, where Chile's Antarctic Institute is based. I am actually touching a 74 million year old femur of a dinosaur that lived here in Patagonia and most likely in Antarctica because at that time both land masses were one. It was one solid semi-tropical Jurassic Park. Scientists believe that learning more about how and why dinosaurs like this one died could be vital to the survival of our own species. Climate change experts insist that we are at the stage where we must predict and prepare for what is coming. The key words is mitigation and adaptation, but we still have time to produce uh, a behavior more suitable with this new vision that we have to adapt and mitigate the changes in the, in the, in the next years. Chile will launch an international Antarctic center later this year in Punta Arenas. Dr. Lepe says that its proximity to Antarctica makes it an ideal location for global scientists to put their heads and data together to anticipate everything from floods in China to heat waves in northern Europe to drought in Australia or Chile. Fortunately, unlike the dinosaurs, mankind has the ability to access data and use science to help mitigate what is coming. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Magallanes, Chile.